Natani Moody. That is the guard out of Fresno State that has both so much love and so much hate in the scouting community. He was a huge mauler for Fresno State and easily their best player on the field as an offensive guard. PFF ranks this 2019 team captain as their number one interior offensive lineman in the entire draft class, but there are many NFL fans who have watched Natani Moody and remained unimpressed by the prospect. Since there were such differing opinions on Moody, I decided to go ahead and watch film on him myself and create this scouting report. When I look at an offensive lineman as a prospect, I grade their athleticism, play strength, pass protection, run blocking, and competitive toughness. So let's just jump straight into it and look at his athleticism. As soon as the ball is snapped, he's rather quick to get up and either push defenders away on run plays or get his hands up to protect the quarterback. Back when he played left tackle, I saw issues here and there where he didn't have enough athleticism to stop a quick edge rusher. However, as a guard in 2019, he showed very little problems with athleticism while protecting the quarterback. Where athleticism comes into play even more though, is on run plays. This is where you see some of the good and some of the bad with Natani Moody. He's good at pushing players out of the way to make room for the running back, and he's able to find players in the next level just fine. However, you see times where Moody appears to use his whole body to block a player, and he even lowers his head at times, ultimately causing him to lose balance. This doesn't happen too often at all, but it happens often enough that it is something that should get cleaned up in the NFL. The other issue with his athleticism is during pull blocks. There are times where the running back would get an outside rush and Atani would have to pull all the way outside and block for him. And he didn't always get there. Overall, his athleticism isn't terrible as a guard, but it isn't great either. It is solid, about an average 2.5 out of 5 on the grading scale. As a tackle, it would be only a 2, but as a guard, it is a solid 3 out of 5. Next, let's look at where he excels the most at, his play strength. Off the field, he showed his strength and some at the combine, where he was able to bench 44, yes, 44 presses before his arms finally gave out. I thought seeing Will Hernandez bench 37 two years ago was astonishing, but 44 is absolutely insane. However, no matter how much strength a player has off the field, they need to be able to put it together on the field, as regular strength and play strength are two completely different things. In pass protection, he rarely gets pushed back. He has enough strength to give a big pop when he collides with the defensive lineman, and he is able to contain players easily. And against the run, he shows his strength by pushing players out of the way with ease, except for the occasional time where the defender slips past him before Moody is able to latch onto him, which is again an athleticism issue rather than a strength issue. Overall, it's his best strength and could be the best in the class right there with players like Becton and Andrew Thomas. On the grading scale, his play strength gets a 5 out of 5. Next, his pass protection. Like I mentioned earlier, he has a quick get off at the snap of the ball and he's able to get his hands on the defender and contain them with ease. On the rare occasion he does lose a tiny bit of leverage and begins to get pushed back, he's great at anchoring and using his insane strength to keep the players far away from the quarterback. Mechanically, he keeps his feet below the center of gravity as all linemen should. His pass blocking could be the best out of all interior linemen in this class and Pro Football Focus said that Moody only allowed 14 pressures on 697 pass blocking snaps in his entire career. And I would bet more of those came at left tackle and were due to his limited athleticism that isn't a problem at left guard. His arm length could be an issue in the NFL since it was only measured at 31.75 inches, but overall his pass protection is really good inside and it deserves a 4.5 out of 5 grade. Let's move on to his run blocking. I've mentioned everything that has to do with his run blocking already, but let's just review it again and give it a grade. Remember, he is good at pushing defenders out of the way, and he can also get to the next level and block another player so the running back can get extra yards. But he has the issue with pull blocks, and his run blocking mechanics need to get fixed, 
as he again lowers his head on occasion and will lose balance by using his whole body to push the defender out of the way. His pass protection is better than his run blocking, but his run blocking isn't bad. It deserves a 3 out of 5. Last but not least, let's talk about arguably the most important trait any player can have, competitive toughness. As I've mentioned numerous times already, Moody rarely gets pushed back. While there are times where Moody begins to jog too quickly, even when the ball isn't very far away, he is always looking for someone to block. The defender is more often the one on the ground, especially during pass plays, but I'd like to see Moody overpower the defenders a little more often than he does. I'd give his competitive toughness a 4 out of 5. Based on Natani Moody's film, I see a day 2 pick at the latest, but I wouldn't even be mad if he was a first round pick because he is a really good player. However, he faced season ending injuries two years in a row and because of this, even with his insane bench press, he will likely fall between rounds 3 and 5 of the NFL draft, maybe even further if team doctors throw heavy red flags at the general managers. If he can escape injuries throughout his NFL career, he is going to be a steal for whatever team takes a risk on him. I'm wishing the best for Moody and I hope to see him destroying NFL competition for the entire 2020s.